Hello and welcome back to another episode in the Lean Stacks Technology Instruction Series. In this episode, we'll build upon the Greeting Web Services project, adding default tasks for the popular Gradle build system. This episode builds upon previous Gradle episodes. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch them, I encourage you to take a look. Let's get started. I've opened the Greeting Web Services project in the Spring Tool Suite. Open the build.gradle file located in the project base directory. Gradle functionality is organized into tasks. Gradle plugins provide new functionality to a build by supplying additional tasks. A typical Gradle build involves multiple tasks. For example, the Greeting Web Services project is built with the command Gradle Clean Build. To make one or more tasks the default task for a build, use the default tasks keyword. Establishing default tasks is convenient if you have a standard set of tasks you would like your software engineers to execute each time the project is built. Or perhaps a plugin has added tasks to your build, but those tasks are not automatically executed as a part of the build workflow. Let's define the project default tasks below and below the dependencies closure in the build Gradle file. Let's build the application to see the Gradle default task in action. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. If the Gradle command line interface is installed on the build machine, the Gradle command may be used to initiate Gradle. Oftentimes it's desirable to run Gradle without installing the command line interface. The Gradle wrapper provides the full functionality of Gradle without requiring installation on the build machine. See the LeanStacks episode titled Using the Gradle Build System with Spring Boot to learn more about the Gradle wrapper. Let's use the Gradle wrapper to build our project. At the terminal prompt type period forward slash Gradle W and press enter to initiate the build process default task. The build has completed. Let's look at the reports in the project's build slash reports subdirectory. The unit test and code coverage reports have been produced as well as the check style and PMD reports. However, the Gradle project reports were not executed. This is because the project report module tasks are not configured to depend upon the default Gradle workflow for Java builds. Let's update the Gradle scripts so that the project reports are automatically produced and included in the build dashboard. Return to the build.gradle source file. Finalizer tasks instruct Gradle to add a task to the task graph, sequencing it to run after another task completes. Let's update the project build scripts so that the project report task is always executed after the check task. To ensure that the HTML dependency report produced by the project report task is included in the build dashboard, we will declare the build dashboard task as a finalizer for the project report task. Let's run the default task once again and ensure that the finalizer tasks have been triggered. At the terminal pri prompt, type period forward slash Gradle W again and press enter. Notice in the console logs that the project report task was executed after the check task completed and the build dashboard task ran after the project report task completed. 
Let's take a final look at the Build Dashboard Report to ensure that the HTML dependency report is included. I'll refresh the Build Dashboard and as you can see, the dependency report has been included in the Build Dashboard. The ability to declare default Gradle tasks is a simple yet powerful capability for any build project. It provides the means to standardize the build or pre-commit tasks which should be executed by project team members. I hope that you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new episodes are published. As always, you can find more information on LeanStacks.com. To view the complete repository illustrated in this episode, see the GitHub repository URL in this episode's description.